there. And when a user presses this button, it's going to append this this word right here, egg, to whatever the user type. So for now, like this one, we haven't set the delegate, we haven't set the method so that the return dismisses the keyboard yet, so we'll do that also. So in our view did load, we're going to say self dot uh, text field to dot delegate equals self and our text field should return text field should return method we're gonna, we're gonna return text field resign first responder okay and that will get rid of the keyboard Let's see that that does that Yeah, so it gets rid of it when I return button is pressed. All right, and now it's gonna. This part's gonna be. This part's gonna be a little bit, a little bit tricky. So, because when we pass the data forward from our view controller implementation file, we just set the property here, and then we do a present view controller. But when we want to pass data back, we're gonna dismiss the view controller. But somehow. The message needs to get sent from the second view controller back to the first view controller. So we're gonna do that using protocols and delegates. So in our view controller 2.h, um, here we're gonna we're gonna uh, define a protocol. So protocol object name I'm gonna call it view controller view controller 2 delegate. And the method I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh, void. I'm gonna call my method name um, re return item pass item back. I'm gonna call it pass item back. It's gonna be a view controller to controller, and I'm gonna say did finish with item and it's gonna be an NS string turn type I'm gonna call this item All right and the error says expected a type so it doesn't know that the view controller is there yet so we need to say at class view controller two so this fixes it. This basically guarantees because uh, it doesn't know the existence of view controller 2 yet. So by saying this, it kind of guarantees that the view controller 2 um, class will be there. And in here, I'm going to add another property at property non-atomic uh, weak and non-atomic. Let's see. Weak non-atomic and it's going to be ID view controller to delegate and delegate all right and then in our view controller 2.m we are going to say in our view controller 2.m when the button gets pressed we're going to say self dot delegate did we call our, our delegate method? Let's see. Pass item back. Okay. Oops. In our view controller 2.m, in our append and pass to VC1 method, we're going to say self.delegate, pass item back, and this will be self. Finish with item would be the item to pass back. So we're going to pass back. Let, let's pass the same thing back for now. So we're going to pass. Um, um, we're going to pass self dot actually let's pass whatever was in our text field so self dot text field to dot text and we're going to pass that back and we're going to dismiss the view controller so self dismiss view controller yes completion nil and so we're passing this back all right text view 2 
Okay, so that should do that, but we also need to do one more thing in our view controller h because we need to uh, let's import our view controller to dot h in our in our view controller dot h file and because we're gonna need to tell it that we wanna we wanna implement a uh, delicate method so we'll say ui um, what was our method name again uh, view controller there view controller to delegate and so we need to de we need to define the delegate method the view controller to delegate method here so in our view controller dot m we're gonna s s define pass item back did finish with item that's the method that we that that we have declared so the item is the item that's passed back so I'm gonna say self dot display label one equals item oh, self dot display label one dot text equals item and one more little thing to add here because oh, I'm not tab, item all right and one more thing to do is we have to set the delegate to self so v in our pass text to vc2 button we have to say vc2 dot delegate equals self so vc2 we're setting the delegate to self so that when it comes back like like this meth this method will be called so i think that 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 should that should do it so let's run it and see if we've missed something so pass text to vc2 abc click it abc let's do def and then from there when we hit append and pass back right now it should just say def because we haven't done the append pa append part yet but let's see there it says def back on here so we can pass like data back and forth let's say you now it says you and then we pass it back me append there it says me on here so now when we pass stuff back um, let's let's append you like and and me for example so now we want to say you me instead of just me so we'll, we can do that in our text in our view controller too dot m so we're gonna do that by saying um, instead of setting this right now we're gonna comment this out and we're gonna set it so that self dot delegate pass item back self so did finish with item and instead of text field two dot text we're gonna append from the f from the label which is um display label self dot display label two self dot display label two dot text string by appending string string by appending string and it should be text field um, self dot text field two dot text so that should append um, the display label to the text field two dot text and we're passing that all we're passing all of that back. Let's run our simulator and see that if it works. A B C pass to V C two now D E F. The thing that I wanted to show back in screen one is A B C D E F. All right, so it does that. So that's good. That's exactly what um, I intended this tutorial to do from the beginning. Let's say you let's say you are you pass the text there is you are a good developer so append and pass back to VC1 there we go you are a good developer oh I didn't add a space there okay so that's that that's the end of this tutorial this one's kind of long a little more involved but um but I think you did a lot in this tutorial because let me do a quick recap so we added our storyboard ID in our in our storyboard 
and we use that here we use that here in our pass to VC2 button and to pass the data forward you just have you just have to set a property uh, VC2 dot string from text field and you set whatever the text field dot text is into the property and in our view controller too we in our view did load method whatever the property is we just set it to our display label and the thing that we did that was uh, kind of new is we added a protocol protocol view controller to delegate and we have a method name pass item back uh, did finish with item and in when the buttons gets pressed our self dot delegate pass item back did finish with item we added the the pass item back itself and the did finish item is the the appended strings which is here self dot display label to dot text string by appending string self dot display self dot text field to dot text so we appended that string and then and in our view controller in our view controller we 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 um in our view controller dot h we define another delicate uh another delicate um method that we have to implement in addition to UI text field delegate we also we also told the compiler that we're also gonna implement method for this for these delegate the view controller to delegate and in our view controller to dot m here's your implementation of that delegate method which is saying in the display label we're gonna display whatever item is being passed back from here and the item that is being passed back in this case is the is the appended strings between the 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 label and the text field in our view controller too and this part is also important because if you don't set this part then it's not gonna work so vc2 dot delicate equals self and that's the end of this tutorial and if you're missing something and if it doesn't work it's probably so something like something little like maybe forgetting to set this delegate to self or something like that so if it doesn't work um i hope you can go back on go back onto this tutorial and retrace it and hopefully everything will work out fine so we've passed data back and forth and in this tutorial and thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye